gone by. Now Scott on Jordan. Here's Cartwright. Yes. Lakers four. The Bulls three. Keep an eye on Michael Jordan as he guards Magic, his hands. He's gotten a number of deflections this season against Magic in the two matchups. He anticipates the pass. And Worthy went for the left hand. The Bulls looking to run. Jordan from deep. Yes. Here's Jordan. Timeout taken. 6.36 remaining in this first quarter. Michael Jordan fouled just before the timeout by Magic Johnson. He is an 85% free throw shooter. In the playoffs, he leads the NBA. He's averaging 31 per ball game. At the guard, it is Byron Scott opening against Michael Jordan. Jordan able to blow right by Michael Jordan, which is understandable that uh, Jordan has just disheartened him on so many occasions. Jordan battling for the rebound and fires again. At his mercy. Once again, the Bulls electing not to go double team immediately, playing the early part of the game straight up. Bad pass saved by Cartwright. Oh, what a pass from Jordan. And Scott Jordan has decided that he's going to cut out the perimeter game for a while and try to take this thing to the basket strong. He foot fakes middle, goes baseline, no rotation that time by the rest of the Lakers. Jordan stepping off the pick and changed his mind. Here's Patrick. Come the Bulls. They're down by three. Pippen for Jordan. The nice thing about this Bulls team is they have a number of people who can lead the break, make the right decision, and then perhaps the best finisher in basketball, Michael Jordan. Three on two. Pippen. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. Great quickness by the Bulls in transition and the willingness to give the ball up. Jordan pitching ahead to Pippen, another guy who finishes pretty well. And this opening quarter, Jordan off the fake. And he is on fire. The buzzer. He tied at 26. Jordan. Michael Jordan with 15 points. The second three-pointer, six and three-tenths seconds to go in the quarter. What a pass from Jordan! One and five-tenths seconds to go. They are standing and cheering the Bulls, who with a late drive have taken a 30-29 lead on the Lakers. Led by Michael Jordan, who hit 7 of 10. 15 points, 5 assists. As they like to do to end quarters, put the ball in Jordan's hand because he usually makes something good happen. You know, many times they say that when Michael Jordan's tongue is out, something bad's going to happen for the opposition. Takes a page out of Magic's book with the hook pass over the top. A spectacular first quarter for Michael Jordan. 7 for 10 for 15 points, plus 5 assists. And as we mentioned earlier, throughout most of the playoffs, Michael has started slowly, kind of checking things out, getting his teammates involved, and then has poured it on, come on strong in the second half. Not the case here today. In the second quarter, Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Ahmad Rashad, Steve Jones from Chicago Stadium. For two from Jordan. You could see Magic that time give his teammates the verbal signal to come and double team when he wanted to help, but Jordan's so unselfish he finds the open man. As long as Michael Jordan is away from the basket, Magic Johnson will play him straight up. Jordan will then try to back down the player into the scoring area, and at a certain point, you'll see Magic turn his head, ask for help from his teammates, but keep an eye underneath Will Purdue because Jordan finds his open teammates. The defensive rotation off of Michael Jordan. Back to you, Mark. All right, Steve and Craig Hodges. 
able to hit his first field goal with three minutes gone by in the second quarter. The Lakers lead the Bulls 37-34. Check of the stats, six assists apiece for Jordan. Has bothered the shot, forced the miss. Crowd wanted to travel, but Armstrong picked it off. It's a two-on-one. Here's two. The two greatest players in the game. To this point, it's been Michael Jordan's show. He now has 19. He's three out of five from the free throw line. During the regular season, the Lakers and the Bulls split the two games set, each team winning at home. Bulls beating the Lakers here in Chicago back in December, led by Jordan, who had. Here's Jordan. Yes. Wednesday night. We'll be on hand starting 9 o'clock Eastern time. Game 3 of the 4 in Los Angeles next Friday. Game 4 in L.A. next Sunday night. Michael Jordan has 25. What? Jordan working against both Teagle and Drew. Livingston. Lakers now lead by 3. What, what did you tell Magic? Not I can tell you. It's a secret. Once he gets the basketball, has a full head of steam, but that gains control of the dribble, pulls up, so he gets the good look at the basket, the good position, and then he is ready to open this thing up and wants to get everybody else involved. And playing with the five fouls, Bill Cartwright has returned. Here's Jordan. Yes. The game is tied at 80. It's with Divac, a center who can do all those things. Lakers by one. Jordan stopped on the reverse, and he'll go back to the foul line for their 15th free throw. Ran outside. That's so he doesn't slip in in case there's a miss. Chicago has taken a one-point lead. Of a pass that actually was a little bit too long. What a pass from Jordan. And Grant has tied it at six. The steal, fortunate that he was not called for the turnover. And Cartwright has cut the Laker lead to 9-8. Michael Jordan, the conductor so far out here for the Bulls in the first quarter, just kind of running the show, distributing the basketball. Play defense, maybe pick up some early fouls. Jordan backing Scott. Yes. He hits on his first field goal. To try to lay it off. For Jordan, thought he'd be cutting by. Thompson steps out on a switch, and Grant able to take the pass from Jordan. Check out Michael Jordan's eyes as he looks to his right at the last minute. Divac goes for the eye fake, flies across the lane. Jordan finds his teammate Grant under the basket for the score. Jordan reminding his teammates, keep your eyes open. I'll find you if you're there. Stan will guard Worthy. And as you just mentioned, here's the switch right now. Take Jordan off, give him a blow, put Pippen on Magic for a while. Take a little break at the defensive end for Michael Jordan. Good luck by Worthy, but Jordan over for the block. And the Bulls were looking for a 24-second violation. The officials checking it out. They have readjusted the clock, and they say one second remaining on the 24. One of the things that Michael Jordan does so well is block shots from behind the post people's heads. By taking off the magic, he's able to do that now. Cartwright from short. 18. This is their biggest lead. They are 12 for 17 from the field. What a pass by Jordan. Grant, the recipient was Horace Grant. He is fought playing Levingston at the small fold. Offensive foul call on Magic Johnson. That is his first. And when you talk about having courage and guts, keep in mind that Michael Jordan is playing with two fouls right now, yet he decides he's going to step in and take the offensive foul with about a minute and a half left. Yes. Excellent. Pippen had the mismatch. Found Jordan open. Here's Michael. There. Worthy posting. There's Jordan. Over. 
Fusco. The first half. It's the Bulls 40 and the Lakers 37. Michael Jordan, a quiet first half by design, looking to get others involved. Now Michael looking to break out. The Bulls have a two-point lead. Jordan. By Scotty Pippen. Give Jordan the ball live at the top of the circle. He loves to play from there, forcing teams to double from the wing, from the side, from behind, from on top, and he still scores. And that camera's got to go. Can you pick up that much? Is it a value? How much do you need to save one basket and win a game? Again, a nice lead from Jordan. And Chicago Stadium. Michael Jordan. Yes. Field goal attempts. Six of eight here in the third. Jordan with the step and the bucket. Official in the last six or seven minutes of play. Michael Jordan. Lead of the night. Jordan over Scott. Yes. Michael Jordan on fire. Up front, Jordan and Paxson in the backcourt. Here's Jordan. Yes. Three or four minutes of a game, the ball goes in Michael Jordan's hands. Well, so far this half, Bill Jackson has put it in his hands the entire third quarter. Exactly, word for word. Byron Scott called for the foul as fourth. Michael Jordan completing the three-point play. He's now up by 14. Lakers have to get the shots up a little bit more frequently than the other day. Paxson again. Paxson, who becomes an unrestricted free agent at the end of this year, a perfect compliment to Jordan, who receives double and triple teams. All he needs to do is slide to the open spot and then make the shot when Michael delivers the ball. Pippen has 10, and Jordan will go to the foul line. He has been bothered by tendonitis in his left knee. He at times did affect the lift on the jump shot. As it turned out, as Pippen is able to get to it and decides to regroup. When Jordan scored the uh, 46, that was the uh, the one loss in the series for the Sixers. Jordan again. He has 24. Half minute to go in the third. Jordan finding Pippen. Michael Jordan. Yes. Make it 12 for 14. 26 points, he's hit his last 11. At the second, illegal defense call, leading to this technical foul, Jordan two out of three from the line. Michael Jordan opened the game, first quarter, looking to distribute the ball, did get his teammates into it. He hit one of his first three from the field. He's now 12 for 14. He's hit his last 11. About now, the Lakers might pull out that 1-3-1 half-court trapping defense, try to take Michael out of it and force some turnovers, some hurried shots, try and get some easy scores themselves. And here's Jordan going for 12. He's got it. 12 straight field goals from Michael Jordan. The Lakers only one for 10 from the floor. In the four, Pippen on the alley. -oop. Jordan giving it up. Pippen. Yes. Oh, they are unconscious. Nine. The look away to Levingston. Jordan. Oh, a spectacular move by Michael Jordan. That's 13 consecutive field goals. The tongue is out. Something bad about to happen to the Lakers. It's Michael Jordan taking off for the deuce. It almost looked as if he remembered the slam dunk competition from a few years ago. It starts out with the flying one-hander. It says, no, 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 I used that one already to win the slam dunk. Let me change up and entertain a little bit right now. So that streak ends at 13 in a row. Michael Jordan flying by our broadcast table. Break opportunities for Los Angeles. Jordan, yes. Well, he had the audacity to miss one shot. It has been a spectacular evening here at Chicago Stadium.
for Michael Jordan. 33 points, 15 for 18 from the field. When you talk spectacular concerning Michael Jordan in the playoffs, you can flash back to 1986 when Jordan scored 63 at the Boston Garden against the Celtics. However, Boston able to win it in double overtime over Chicago, 135, 131 as they won game two of their three-game sweep despite the 63 by this man who at one point tonight hit 13 consecutive field goals. And he is our Miller Genuine Draft Player of the Game once again. Here's Bill Conrad. Magic guarding Jordan who's able to convert the defensive sequence by the Bulls. Maxson, yes! John Paxson have hit five of five from the field. Grant taking advantage of the overplay by Devots. There to form a trap, a double team, can't give him a clear look at the basket. And Jordan hits from long range, his second field goal. He, a rare instant of daylight for Scott. Jordan from downtown. Michael Jordan. Then the second man, Perkins, flashes right in behind him. Here's Jordan. Yes. Well, Michael Jordan getting off fast in this first quarter with by Grant. Minute and a half to go in this first quarter. Lakers have a two-point lead. Both clubs have shot exceptionally well in this first quarter. Shot clock down at five. Three. Jordan, yes, Michael Jordan with a fadeaway. The shot clock was down to two. The game is tied at 23. And that time Scott played him about as well as you can play him. Just too much at the offensive end, Michael Jordan. Scott was stripped. Jordan recovers. Lakers were looking for a foul. Oh, nice give and go, and Grant over to help out. Let's go back a moment ago when Scott was playing Jordan right there, challenges the shot, but the difference in size and the fade, the elevation by Jordan gets the shot off. He winds up with a clean look at the basket. And the Bulls back to the offense. Levingston, yes, a rare jump shot opportunity by Levingston, and he has had himself a very nice first half offensively. Hit on a sweeping shot and now the jumper. And, and you can see the confidence that Michael Jordan has built in Levingston. Two times steal right there by Chicago. Jordan twice in a row dishing to Levingston for scores. And Michael Jordan converts. He has 13. They pretended they were going to rotate to Pippen, then went back to their own men. Pippen knocked it out. What a save by Pippen. Jordan. Jordan on the rebound. To the basket at the other end. But now, as he starts to take off, Perkins moves into his body. He doesn't quite have the lift and not enough extension there to finish it off. So he just kind of hustles back on the floor and says, I'll do it this way. A 54 lead in the midst of a 14-2 run. Jordan with the steal. And that is his third for the game. Beautiful look away. Jordan for Pippen, and the game is tied at 74. And back down court, the look away from Jordan to Pippen. Jordan regrouping, and then fires. Yes. Pippen on the loose ball with a minute 10 remaining in the fourth. Jordan saw the opening. Horace Grant, our specialist, has checked in. Here's Jordan on the pull up. Yes. And the game is tied at 92 with three and four tenths seconds remaining. With the threat of the three-point shooters on the floor, you can't come and help quite as quickly on Michael. He gets Scott back into an area where he feels comfortable. After coming down, he almost seems once again to be bothered by the bad knees. The Chicago Bulls using their possession wisely as Michael Jordan went behind the back against Byron Scott and was able to convert to tie the game. Both players answering with the big baskets at crucial times. For Just under three minutes remaining in overtime. The series tied at one. This game three of the best of seven NBA championship series. Here's Jordan. Yes! Michael Jordan hitting on the driving reverse.
Take the battle. Two minutes left in overtime. The spin by Jordan and hits on the reverse. Michael saving it for overtime. To the rim to come up on the other side. He drives baseline, sees the rotation coming, has the great ability to hang and reverse it for the score. Jordan posting. And Jordan foul. And able to settle down. They closed strong in the third. And time running out on the Lakers. Final seconds of the overtime. Drew. Chicago Bulls have returned the favor. Beating the Lakers at the form. And they take a 2-1 lead in the best of seven. Into the game plan a bit more frequently. Has not been getting his shots. Here's Pippen. And the game is tied. Jordan off the head fake. Yes. Took place with 18 seconds remaining on the 24 second clock. They had plenty of time to swing at weak side. Grant. And again. Ahmad Rashad back here at the forum. And the big story has been the toe of Michael Jordan. He'd started the game out with a shoe that had the toe slid out. And he's not getting enough support from it. So he's changed into his normal shoe. And that's what he'll try to go with. Marv. Jordan. Yes, it counts, but he came up hobbling. Once again, landing on that right foot with the sore toe after the slam dunk, and Perkins that time got caught hesitating. If they're gonna force him baseline, you've got to rotate sooner. Sam Perkins waits. It's too late under the basket with Jordan attacking the way he does. As Michael goes, check out right here, he just goes a little bit higher over the top of Perkins, but then comes down on the sore right toe. Three out of six from the field and the Lakers have come back to move within three. Yvonne stepping out against Jordan. Cartwright, Bill Cartwright wide open. Michael Jordan found him. Back big off the boards. They have out rebounded the Bulls. 11-6 in this first quarter. Grant again getting inside. And the Bulls lead by one. Because Michael Jordan commands so much respect and attention from the defense, what happens is once you put it in his hands, the Lakers start running around. The other Bulls just go to spots on the floor. Jordan picks out the open guy. He's, he's winding up short. And that shot by Teagle went short. Jordan at the other end, able to hit. Shot clock running down on the Bulls. Jordan gets it off. And Michael Jordan now has nine points. The Jordan around Devons. The advantage in the first quarter. You can really see the difference in quickness that time. Jordan again off the dribble to the basket and fouled. Scotty Pippen jumped twice last time before Sam Perkins got up one time to keep it alive. Again, off the dribble. He catches Magic straightening up in the defensive stance. Rotation too late. They just let him go for the score. So much for the jammed toe theory. Michael Jordan has come on strong in the second quarter. He now has 13 points. Which means that the Bulls have to uh, inbound and look for the shot with three and one ten seconds remaining. Yeah, and Turning things uh, to that lead earlier the second quarter. Michael Jordan fires, yes! And the horn! So, despite the jam toe, Michael starting slowly and then turned it up. Seven for 13 from the field for a game high of 16 points along with seven assists. And one stretch, they missed nine in a row. Nice pass from Jordan. Grant extends to a 56-44 lead. Jordan, a little fake, a little foot fake, and then he always is looking for his teammates, cutting, slashing into the lane. You cannot get caught behind the offensive player that low, that deep into the lane. Jackson shoot him. That of talk of a contest between the two as Jordan is able to drill it home with a 12-point lead. Jordan to the fadeaway. Oh, he hit the... He saw the poor shooting by the L.A. Lakers. They have died since midway through the second quarter. 
Jordan on the fade because he knows Divots is coming after him here, so he has to get it up higher over the top of the big man. I'll just back up a little bit and say goodbye as I knock it out. And the Bulls maintain possession. And this has been the story throughout the series for the Lakers. They just can't come up with the ball when they need it most. Jordan. He beat Teagle off the dribble and then was able to spin Devons. Jordan turning the corner down the lane. He has those long strides and the ultimate in concentration. Jordan from deep. 25 for Michael Jordan. And Teagle now one for six and it leads to this. Because of the speed and quickness, one thing the Bulls love to do is leak a player out. Jordan sometimes, Pippen the other times, two guys who really finish well at the other end. Well, tonight's Miller Genuine Draft Player of the Game, Michael Jordan. And on behalf of Michael, NBC and Miller Genuine Draft will donate $1,000 to the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund. Playing with the jam toe, 26 points. 13 assists, 5 rebounds. Lakers have been coming up with most of the loose balls here at the start. Teagle could not handle that pass. And here comes Jordan. Michael Jordan with a gorgeous move. A moment ago on the fast break, the Lakers seem to have a sure two, but the pass is a little bit behind Terry Teagle. The great transition defense of the Bulls winds up taking a sure score away and conversion at the other end. The Bulls have a three on two. Nice look away from Jordan to set up Grant, and the Lakers lead 13-11. Well, the Magic uh, Michael matchup, both logging the minutes. Michael Jordan has actually taken the lead in the assist department over Magic Johnson. Coming up on two minutes. Remaining in this first quarter, Jordan off the steal! Michael Jordan with his second field goal. The Bulls defense finds a way to get easy scores. Fourth in the league this year in steals. Jordan, one of the best pickpockets you're going to find, and then one of the best finishers. Extended hand, challenging the shot. And back come the Bulls. Lakers lead at 23-21. Here's Jordan. A gorgeous move again by Michael Jordan going at Bloody Devots strong, and then able to lay it home softly. Magic thought he was fouled. No call. And here's Pippen. Chicago. And the Lakers back to Devots, bringing it up, and he lost it. Jordan off the steal. Lincoln Jordan in the backboard. Caught right. Grant Pippen up front. Here's Jordan. Michael is now five for eight. He has ten. Eldon Campbell off the bench to hit four of five for nine points. Goals by three. Jordan was fouled. Perkins over to help out. The jam toe injury of Michael Jordan. His usual magnificent ball game. Chicago with a one-point lead. Jordan with the steal. Pippen moving on green. Scotty Pippen has getting some easy scores as a result. Hot right. Yes. Lakers by two. Jordan to the reverse. So Michael able to answer. And Magic looking to push it down court. Here's Green. Stripped by Jordan. Pippen with Perkins back. Michael Jordan, who leads the team in steals and block shots, loves to come from behind the offensive player's head to get a piece. Leads the fast break, looks down the floor, sees his teammate wide open, and as Pippen goes up right there, Perkins hits him in the head. Michael Jordan turns to the official and says, make the call. He got hit in the head. Pippen grabs his head. We want a three-point play from that. Teagle wide open. Perhaps too open 
The last two shots went in and came out. That one was a wide open look, and it was the worst miss. Michael Jordan will go to the free throw line. In the first half, and hit three for three from the field. Patrick Johnson, 13 points. Jordan, yes. 18 for Jordan. Here's Jordan for Grant. And the foul committed by Devots. The Lakers sent another guy over to double team and help out. As Magic comes, Michael decides, I'm going to get away from him, go down to the baseline where I feel real comfortable, always looking for his open teammates in the middle of the lane. Along with Grant and Pippen. Good double team. Campbell over to help. Here is Pippen. If you double team Jordan, it's got to be tight. You have to come big. You can't let him look across the floor, sideline to sideline. Scotty Pippen, 20, particular by the Bulls, who rarely are called for turnovers. And the foul called on the Lakers. When Michael goes baseline, the rest of the Lakers must come to help out because he either can finish by going underneath the rim or he has the great ability to pull it back, reverse dribble, and take it in the middle. Right there, you can see he has collapsed. Five for five from the field, and the game is tied at 76. And there's that weak side attack as Jordan takes the lob off the back pick play and slams it down. Play by Green. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a bow by Michael Jordan. Going to the left hand and able to squeeze through to give the Bulls a two-point lead. Are tied at 80. Scotty Pippen with the lead for Michael Jordan. The Lakers able to come right back. Largest move by Jordan with the left hand. We'll be back after the two minutes gone by in the fourth. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Amon Rashad, Steve Jones, Michael Jordan, yes. He has 25, 740 remaining in the fourth. Now Campbell on Jordan. Went to the fadeaway. What a move by Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan can sense that the crowd is in it, that the Lakers are in it. He's going to take it into his own hands. He starts actually in the middle of the lane and finishes up four feet outside the lane line on that shot. Jordan in the isolation on the left side of the floor. The other four Bulls on the right side. Pippen with the open shot for three. And back up the Lakers. Magic fires off the dribble to Smith. Jordan batting it away. Jordan. Tied up. I'm out. I was calling. Jake said, you're right. You had the possession, and I'll recognize that before the jump ball took place. The scramble for the ball, right there. Possession. Timeout. Good call. Come up big here this evening. Smith off a double team. Perkins, shot clock at two. Smith has to fire. Jordan on the rebound. A poor job of screening out in front as Magic tried to come off the pick and roll. As a result, the defense was able to stay at home. Foul called on Smith. Keep a look at the top of the circle. This is supposed to be a pick and roll. You've got to screen Michael Jordan. You can't miss him. We call that screening air. As a result, Jordan never gets off of Magic. Can't ask for a much better look. 16-footer in the foul line area, wide open, no one playing. Paxson open again. The Lakers desperately trying to bring it back to Chicago for a game six. Paxson, yes! John Paxson again! Devox from three-point land. Michael Jordan gets to it. As we come up on ten seconds remaining, he's fouled by Green. And the Bulls beginning to celebrate. For good Marshall, scholarship five. Michael Jordan with 30 points. The Bulls lead by seven. Final seconds. Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. I'm going to try and go down into the crowd and get to Michael Jordan. 
Guys, excuse me. Let me get through here. Michael Jordan is the unanimous MVP. He got all 11 votes.